there, my name is Summer and I own Transformed with Love and we are a paint DIY store in Carp, Ontario. And thank you for buying or you were gifted a kit for a plant pot. Inside you will get a mold, two jars of hand poured paint, two different colors, two plant pots, one paintbrush, two stir sticks, a bottle of Big Top, and so the packaging might ch change depending on availability. This is what it looks like right now. So that would glue one very small container, either of Golden Ticket or Dark and Decrepit, depending on what you chose, a Ziploc bag with paper clay, and a two-page instructional sheet inside your kit. Please make sure to read the bottom and the warnings here at the very bottom of the two pages. So to start, I always make sure that I have either paper laid down on my work surface or plastic. The paint will wash off with just water, but the glue and other products will not. So make sure to protect whatever surface you're working on. You're going to start with the paper clay first. You're going to need the cornstarch, the wood glue, your brush and stir sticks, the paper clay and the mold first. Today for this demonstration I'm going to be using the Daisies He Loves Me mold and the Fleur de Lis molds. Once you've got your mold open you're just going to take your paintbrush and take a tiny little bit of the cornstarch on your brush and you're going to gently brush it onto the mold, whichever shape it is that you want to use. Sometimes I'll go ahead and I'll dust a number of them or the whole thing if I think I'm going to use all of the shapes. It's important to secure the pot so that it doesn't roll away from you because you're going to start with it laying down on the table. So if you have a couple of heavy things, so that can be books or anything, other paint jars, um, it could be toys, whatever you have available. Next, you're gonna open the paper clay. It's just in a Ziploc. Take out a good sized chunk and you're gonna roll it in a ball. So this should feel moist and um, it's important to keep your paper clay wrapped up. So after you take a piece, just fold the bag over because it dries out very quickly. Once you have a smooth ball, with not a lot of cracks in it. You're going to push it into the mold that you want to start with, whatever shape on your mold. So I'm gonna start with this one right here. I put it in the center and now I'm just gonna use my thumb and give it a good push. And then I'm also gonna push it around. And so you wanna kinda of hold it because the cornstarch is gonna make it want to come up. And that's, you want it to come up easily so it doesn't get stuck, but also it can move around a little bit on you, so this can might take a little bit of practice. So you want to push the paper clay into all of the nooks and crannies of whatever shape you're starting with. Along doing this, you'll get more and more used to how much paper clay you need. So you want it to be sort of smooth on top. So I'm just gonna gently pull my finger across the top of the surface, take off the paper clay that I don't need. And so you want to go gently because this can lift out if you're not careful. And so if it pulls away, you just go back and push it into those corners again. And you want to make sure that the paper clay is mostly on the inside of the mold, that it's not on the outer ridge. And then gently lift up your, your mold. And if you pull to the side, it starts to lift out on its own. So I'm going to put my hand here and turn it over to catch it. Ta-da, you made your first mold. So sometimes the edges of the mold can look a little frayed. So I'm just gonna gently, gently tap and you have to be very careful because this is damp. If you squeeze this, you're gonna lose some of that detail in there. So you're just gonna push down any little bits around the corner and you can also use your paintbrush to do this if you want to. Use the hard end of the paintbrush and just gently roll it over the sides of your shape. Once you're happy with your shape, you're going to gently put it down onto the table 
and you're going to take out your wood glue. Now that I have glue on my stick, I'm going to put it on the back of my shape. And you want to push the glue out to the edges. So you want to have a good amount of glue, not thick, but make sure to cover most of the area of your shape. Picking up your shape from the corners or the edges very gently. You take it in one hand, put it onto your pot. So choose wherever it is you want to put your shape. And being very gentle, just press it down lightly onto your pot. I'm going to use painter's tape to hold down this shape, but you could use whatever kind of tape you have. The reason we're using tape is to make sure with the wet glue it could just slide right off. Once you got the tape on, you can see that there's space in there, so I'm just going to gently push that down with my finger. And you'll have to do this a couple of times to just go back and double check your mold to make sure that it's touching the areas on the pot. That way when the glue dries, it'll be stuck down very well. It now I'm gonna choose this mold and do another shape. Again, I'm gonna pull it and let it tip into my hand. I'm gonna tap down the edges again and do the whole thing over. I'm gonna glue the back and put it on. Remember to go back and push down the edges to encourage the glue to dry nice and tight. As it dries, the paper clay shrinks and it pulls away, so you just want to keep pushing it down gently in the corners to make sure it's stuck on nice and tight. You wanna give the paper clay at least 20 minutes to dry here. So that's mostly for the glue to be nice and tacky. And then you can start to paint it after 20 minutes. But if you're gonna paint it while it's still moist or damp, you have to use a very, very gentle touch so that you don't uh, push hard and then lose all of that beautiful detail in your mold. Now while we're waiting for this to dry we're going to tidy up a little bit. Put the paper clay that you haven't used back in the Ziploc. Also you can get a piece of paper towel and put a little bit of water on it. We wrap the paper clay in parchment so rewrap whatever is left back in par parchment paper and put the the moist towel in beside it, not on it, because it'll make it too wet. Then push out all the air and zip it back up so it won't dry out on you. If you run out of wood glue, you can use any kind of school white glue, any kind of glue really, but we're providing you with wood glue. You can also speed up the process for both the paper clay and the paint by using a hair dryer. Now it's time to take the tape off your shapes. So you want to do this nice and gently and carefully. So to start your painting, you're going to turn your pot upside down and we're going to start painting from the top, from the bottom down to the top. When the paint dries, it dries a little bit lighter, so watch as it changes color. Once your paint is dry and you can handle it, turn your pot upside right. I'm suggesting that you paint up to the ridge, just this, this one little part and the rim of the pot. If you notice that there's any uh, white spot, like here, I'm just gonna touch that up now. 
So once your first color is dry and this color is bohemian blue, you can go to your second color. I'm just going to take the smallest little amount and then I'm going to offload on the side. I don't want to paint the actual flower, but I want to highlight it. So I'm not going to paint like this, like I did the first time, but now I'm going to come at an angle and I'm just going to brush across the flower so that the high parts are highlighted. Get a little bit more paint and offload, so tap off a little bit. I'm gonna to come to my big flower and same thing, I'm not gonna come straight at it, but I'm gonna come at an angle and lightly brush on top. And usually we start with the dark color and on top we put the lighter color. But you can do whatever you like. If this is a gift for somebody, now is the time to write your name. You Instead of having a card, a gift card, you could write to whoever from and the date or just sign it and the date if you're keeping it for yourself. Now we're moving on to putting golden ticket on or dark and decrepit depending on which one. This is a very little container and that's because you only need a tiny little bit. You can wash your paintbrush and use that paintbrush when it's dry or you can use your finger. I'm gonna start with my finger though. So I'm just gonna gently rub over the surface of the top so that I get just a tiny little bit on my finger. I'm gonna start with the biggest flower. So there's the little bit on my finger and I'm just gonna put tiny little bit so I'm just rubbing it on very carefully and then I'll take a little bit more now that's a little bit too much so it's okay to offload so just take a little bit off if you have too much and I'm putting it on the flower petals as well And I also am gonna do this rim here with the little bit of golden ticket. But I'm not gonna do it like all the way around, just in some places. If you're gonna use your paintbrush again, just take a tiny little bit and just like you did with the lighter color, come at it at an angle, not straight on, but at an angle. Golden Ticket does have a sealer in it, so it's gonna be a little stickier to wash off, but it'll wash off just with water and soap. The very last step is to use the Big Top sealer. So you have to make sure this is completely dried now. So either, again, use the hair dryer or wait for it to dry. I am gonna add my name and date at the bottom. So just use, you can use any kind of marker with uh, permanent ink the last step which is to add the big top to seal your project you want to pour a little bit of the big top into a little cup or dish but a little bit goes a long way so you're not going to need a lot of this the big top looks white but when it dries it dries clear so again starting at the bottom turn your pot upside down and put the big top on and now the color is going to change because the paint dries lighter than the actual color. And so the very last step now, once the big top is dry, is to also do this rim and this inner edge. And now you have your own personal one-of-a-kind piece of art it could be for yourself. This could be a gift for somebody else for Mother's Day, for birthdays, or if you want to send a kit to somebody you love, please go to transformwithlove.ca and look under our shopping for kits. Take good care. Bye.